Well, these army land losses are definitely not right. 6,000 versus 6,000? No. Yes. I don't know. They, it says that, yeah. I can believe the naval losses. There's another 40,000 moving into land. Ultra is not giving this one up. Nope. I think I would try to land on the opposite side of Sicily this time, though. D don't try and land over there again. They've, they've got all of their troops in position. You'd think you wouldn't, mistake, you wouldn't make the same mistake twice. But it and, looks like they want to. Yeah. And also, Carthage's army is on half morale. Yeah, and Sicily's like, okay, come here. Fight me. <laughs> yeah, we got this, guys. Come on. <laughs> Okay, Egypt's coming in too. They think that that will save them. I'm going to make a guess and say it probably won't. Nope. Now, are they going to separate? So Egypt tries to land on one side of the island and that allows Carthage to land unopposed on the other. They'd probably still get wiped though. Yeah, I was, was going to say, I mean, we've already seen it. Even if they manage to make the landing, they still lose. Is Carthage paying their troops for wages? <laughs> um... Carthage is also being invaded, I just noticed. Oh, really? Yeah, they lost territory. I think they're having an uprising or something. Let me look at that. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Economy, army maintenance. Yes, they are paying. I think those are mercenaries that they just hired and then did not allow to get full. And look at Carthage's manpower. It's uh, relatively low, even. Yeah, that's Seven definitely Seven and a half struggling. thousand. Mm-hmm. Money's looking good. Wow, they're still earning 55 ducats a month. That's insane. I knew their economy was good, but that's with a bunch of mercenaries hired as well, I think. And they have landed on Sicily. Yes. Egypt does not seem to want to do the same, though. Nope. Egypt's oh, maybe they there. will. Maybe they will now. Yep, there they come. Too late, though. Oh, no, that's somebody else. No. I think yeah I think they'll be fine whether they can make it from Catan to Leon Tioni before um, Sicily counterattacks surely Sicily can take that 33k stack or 34k yes I think they can they're not trying to maybe they don't want to attack into the forest hmm oh no they're waiting for their allies because there's basically 40,000 of them with them combined Yes, Regium. Half the streamers have been able to play the game before today. Yes, they have. They have. They yeah, have had, had some it. time to practice. A week? Two weeks? A week. I've had it a week. A I don't know how a long week. you've had it. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Ooh, I have a good question, though, Mordred. What learning curve of this game is it going to be? Will it be higher than EU4 or lower? Ooh, good question. Oh, battle. We'll answer that after the battle. Sorry. Yep. 20,000 light cavalry. So they have changed up their strategy here with 6,000 elephants, 7,000 heavy infantry against 20,000 light infantry. I... Ooh, that's... It's that's a really tough close. one. Mm -hmm. Because of the light infantry, they are taking really heavy casualties. Two to one right now. Ooh, yes. And now the Egyptians and Carthaginians outnumber them. Yep, and morale is suffering. Oh, they they lost. Yep, twenty-two thousand losses to fourteen thousand kills. That was a bad battle for them. Yep, they will be licking their wounds. So, learning curve. What do you think? I, for me, for now, the learning curve is higher than EU four. Yes. I would agree with that. I mean, part of it is we were learning with no guidance whatsoever. So when you guys get the game, you will have these videos. You will have seen the gameplay and have a little bit more of an idea from that. But if you're coming into this with completely fresh eyes, having not played or seen Imperator before, yes, I would say the learning curve is higher. There's a tutorial, but uh, yeah, it, it has a pretty big learning curve. Tutor tutorial Low was good. It's one of the better ones that Paradox has done. Exactly. Uh, but it's I think it's a lower learning curve than Hoi 4, I would say. Really? I, I still don't understand that game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe it's just me. 
I think I would consider Crusader Kings to be my hardest learning curve. Storage oh, really? Is probably the easiest. Yeah. So I guess the answer is it's up for debate, depending on whichever learning curve you have experienced in other Paradox titles. Yeah. I mean, for me, Imperator, I got the economy pretty quickly. I got the making and building of armies pretty quickly. But the character interactions, I still completely clueless about character interactions. Ah, okay. So that's the Crusader Kings part there that is difficult for you. I, I see. Yep. I guess for me, it's the other way around. We have another 20,000 Carthaginians landing. 20,000 more Egyptians just landed. Where are the Romans? 30,000 Romans just sitting in Ostia, just going, yep, yeah, we've done our bit. Shouldn't they be helping? They really should be helping, yeah. Oh, no, there yeah. are 16,000 Romans on the way. And there are 42,000 Egyptians, though. 60,000 total. 15,000 Sicilians. Oh, no, there's another 40,000 Carthaginians. Yeah. Oh. So That's... basically they've moved their attention from Rome to Sicily. Yeah, which I think is probably a wise move. It's closer for them to reinforce. Yep. They now have 100,000 troops there. If you can take Sicily and operate from there, that's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, if they could take uh, Messana to deny the straight crossing, then they could take the rest of Sicily basically at their leisure. Exactly. Meanwhile, Sicily is building up its fleet. It had, I think, 23 ships before. Now it's up to 30, which still isn't a lot, but they're trying. 47 on their side versus the 139 on Carthage, Egypt. Like, I don't think that naval superiority is going to change anytime soon. But if you need a little bit of mobility to move troops around, then you could do that for sure. Exactly. Sicily is basically okay. going to be a big field of corpses. Yeah, it's going to be a fertile land. <laughs> How has Carthage always got so little morale? That 37 stack is like no morale. And the AI ally attacking into it is probably going to win that easily. That's likely. Oh, there is a month tick. Oh, they just missed a month tick. That is unfortunate. Yeah. There's still almost no morale. I think if I was Ultra Hill, I would be leaving my troops in Carthage a little bit longer and then using the reorganize ability to get morale faster and then ship them over. Agreed. Yes, they are going to lose Carthage, I think. Yeah, but they've got another 20,000, which are full morale, coming to reinforce. There they are. Oh, and they came in time. Yep. Ooh, That's the allies are losing 800 tick stack wipe. Ouch. 53k in Katane right now. Suffering. And another 43k in Syracuse. A lot of attrition. Yes. Although, actually, the supply limit of that province is 43, and the unit weight is 34. But um, Sicily is not going to recover any army anytime soon because it only has 90 manpower, 9-0. And only one, oh no, two stacks of, no, three stacks of mercenaries. So they could do that, but they are losing a lot of money even with no army, 7.3. Exactly. So this is going to be down to Rome. Rome's up to 36,000 manpower. Come on, Rome, do something. Yeah, come on, Rome. <laughs> Ooh, fleet battle. Egypt versus Sicily. Arcadia is trying to get iron from Rome. Wait, Arcadia doesn't have iron? Yeah, they do. At least two. And Rome has arrived in Sicily. Oh, oh, oh. Let's have a look. Another naval battle. Sicily versus Egypt. 32 versus 39. So far, pretty even. Looks even. Admirals are a 7 versus a, an 8, so no admiral difference. More Egyptian reinforcements have arrived. No more expected for a while, though. Nope. 24 against 39. Sicily has lost 10 ships. I would back out at that point. You're losing too much. Oh, dear. 41 now. They got some backup from allies. Yeah, I'll definitely back off of Sicily. Like, you're losing ships unnecessarily now. And in fact, those allies brought an even better admiral. Level 9. 
If you look a little bit more to the left, Rome is currently landing 33, no, actually 45,000 troops on Carthage's soil. Trying to get their citizens back again, no doubt. Yep. Yep, Carthage is now under siege. Let the salt flow. The salt merchants will be doing a great trade. First of all, they sell all the salt for Rome, and now they can sell all the salt for Carthage. Good move, good move. Maybe that will pull away the attention from Sicily. Quite possibly, though. Considering the gains the Carthaginians and the Egyptians are making, I think that would be a bad move. Yeah. Can we have a quick look at Bosphorus? I don't think anything's happening really in Bosphorus. There's no a Bosphorus wars. Kingdom fleet sailing just over Carthage. Yeah, I think Ben's just using it to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if I was in this position, I'd do the same. Yeah. Fifty thousand still in Sicily. What about Rome? Do they have any armies in Carthage at all? No. Carthage itself, you mean? Mm -hmm. Nope, nothing left. A couple of mercenaries, but actually those mercenaries are quite a long way away. Yeah. They're small units. And uh, the stronger ones, at least, are far away, yeah. And yet Carthage is still making 47 ducats a month. But for how long? True. Army maintenance of minus 40. Rome's army maintenance is 25, and they're losing money. So Carthage can definitely afford the... Oh. Rome is attacking with 16,000 and Carthage is 26,000. Both sides are on full morale. Sicily is joining Rome. This is going for Messina, Messana. Ooh. So this is going to be the uber elite. Yep. There uh, we go. Roman it started. 10, Sicily and Rome versus Carthage. Oh, look at that morale. It's That's insane. just sick. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs armies when they can have morale? Exactly. <laughs> 14,000 against 18,000. I mean, Carthage does have, I would say, the better quality army, because they just have more heavy infantry. Definitely. I don't know why Rome doesn't have more heavies. Yes, that's strange. I mean, they are more expensive, but... Yeah, but mm. if... Um, if Emnol's still funding them, are you still funding them? Yep, a little bit. Uh, I'm also conquering Veneto, just in case. Oh! Just ah. to go through one of the uh, one of the forts in the mountains. Barbarians are on the borders almost. Yep. What's the tech level of Scotland? That's a good question. My Scotland has a ridiculous tech level. It's hilarious. Nine 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 eight. They're ahead of Rome. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Rome 7777. Like, they're two techs ahead of Rome. Carthage 7677. Grace's army got stack wiped against Phrygia. Oh dear. Oh, oh yeah, Phrygia's gaining ground. Yes, they are. Uh, Thrace does still have an army, not a very big one. Ooh, they're still organizing. No, you don't want to take that fight. Stop organizing. Oh dear. Though I don't think that actually reduces your morale or anything, but it does mean you move slower. I don't yes. know if that means you move slower when you're retreating, because that would be very bad. Minus 33% speed, ouch. Thrace has 66 ships, but Frigia's now got 109. Carthage has been sieged down. Oh, oh. Blondie is gone. <laughs> yeah, it's because it's 8 o'clock, so this was... Yes, it is. I'm not surprised. Carthage doesn't seem to be responding to the Roman invasion just yet. It's because it's paused. <laughs> I suspect I mean, so that's far, though. ending it. Yep. Let's see what the others are doing. Yes. Are we calling it here? Yeah, I think we're going to group up and just do a final discussion-y thing. Okay, I'll drag everyone into the commentary. Yeah, yeah, do it.
Oh, I'm gonna drag everyone to commentary. I'm just gonna go hello, 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 hello. so people know that they've been oh. moved. Hello, 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 hello. And then hello. Blondie. Hello. 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 Blondie's, Blondie's hello. muted. I think he's uh, saying goodbye to his stream. Oh, okay, no worries. Um, so, thanks everyone for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this. Do you guys want to say anything about what's happened, what people have seen here today? I would say I how you know, felt I... and how you enjoyed this, but we can't really say that. <laughs> no, no, we can't. <laughs> you can say you have enjoyed the stream in terms of a streaming experience. It's been fun. The streaming experience with fellow content creators has been yes. amazing. Like, that's definitely mm -hmm. been one of my highlights, yeah. I would say. I mm -hmm. I can't wait to get out of the suit of armor I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> it's been 12 hours. Oh, you must be hot. Yeah, it's it's essentially like wearing an oven. Um, <laughs> Just think of all your poor Roman soldiers marching in that. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And I mean, also carrying 45 to 60 kilos of gear. On yeah. Top yeah. Of it. So on a scale yeah. of Nero to Julius Caesar, how are you feeling right now about your armor? Um, I'm, I'm actually, to be fair though, it's not like hefty, it's not overweighting me. I could march around in this quite easily, I think. Like, <laughs> but it kind of helps that, like, the other half isn't very armored. <laughs> um, so, uh, what you're saying is you want us to challenge you to march around for a bit, okay? Oh, Jack. <laughs> yeah, marching stream confirmed. <laughs> Everyone, tune in tomorrow at 5 p.m. CST. So basically, was, Mitch, is, Mitch has just said that this is now going to be a 24-hour stream for him. The next 12 hours is going to be <laughs> yes. him marching around. Yeah, yep. I'll, yeah, I'll go live on my phone. I'll just walk around my hometown. Yeah, just uh, change to the just chatting category. It'll be. Oh no no no! It'll still be listed as hey. Imperator Rome. <laughs> as long as he remains in costume, it can be Imperator. And if you're in a Roman settlement. Right. Yes, I am. My hometown exactly. is Roman settlement. Yep. So it's fine. Prussian Prince, my yes. chat would like to ask why you decided to attack Carthage and Egypt there at the end. B because Rome did it. <laughs> yeah, we, that was always our plan. Sicily yeah. does what Rome yes. does. Me, me and Sicily have had that plan <laughs> yeah, yeah. since the first word I, dis uh, I said to him at the, at the beginning yes. of the stream. It was yeah. literally, we first got into a group chat and went, so, how do you want to divide up Carthage? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> uh, my chat also would like to know why you still have so many tribals on your island. Tribals? You have um, so many tribesmen that they're so Oh, you do? They don't, oh, wow. Yeah, they're unhappy and they do no manpower and no money when they're so unhappy for you. Huh. Also, they hit I, your other income well, uh, pad. One province has like eight uh, unrest or something. Yeah. I didn't yeah, have enough oratory problems. power. Because near the end, I used a ton of oratory power to just get claims to invade stuff, so I guess I didn't. 16% of your population yeah. is tribesmen. Yeah, but you, you should just I use civilization oh focus. To, yeah. to you also have quickly. 53 citizens in your yeah, look capital, at tech. only citizens. Yes. <laughs> tech 14 yes. and everything, that's insane. Yeah, he's 100 and something years ahead of time. Except for except yes. the fact that he's still got, you know, carpet sieged and wrecked by well, some light infantry mercenaries, well, but to, the tech. Can, but, can we now point out, though, that the recovery of the Roman navy has turned around and completely wiped out the Carthaginian one. And by that and, you mean and diminished. truce breaking, breaking the sanctity of truces. That's not how history will write it down. While off my not capital's the the coast. I, I, mm, I say dishonorable. I, I, I must say <laughs> I'm very happy that both Carthage and Rome got salted today. And desecrated. <laughs> yeah. I have to say... Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a real pleasure playing against Horath. He's playing. He's putting up a hell of a fight playing Tri. That war has been Thanks. fun to watch. You I have too. to say, I did not know that you were uh, playing uh, the Danubians in the in the Death Clash because I actually, uh, yeah, Dubunia. I actually yeah. watched that. <laughs> I did <laughs> not know it. I might have thought uh, differently about picking that fight. Did someone <laughs> bankroll you? Why nope. do you have so much nope. money? Uh, I've been conserving. I've been conserving troops and money, so. I've been picking my fights. But you've been non-stop one. building ships, each ship for 20. Yep. Uh, I do make more money. I think I make more money than you. I buy less mercs. I don't know. I've just... I do make... I have more pops than Thra, so I do make more money. And that's... Yeah, 700 more pops. The difference is one, I think. One more money. Yep. 12 years that war's been going on. One and a half. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. I think just the, all your pops are very <laughs> unhappy in Phrygia. <laughs> yeah. Silas was begging me to attack you, Horath. Oh, yeah, evil bastard. 
<laughs> I'm glad it didn't. <laughs> Would have killed me, I guess. <laughs> the saddest yeah, yeah, moment up. of the entire <laughs> 12 hours Actually, was when, after six hours of trying, I finally got uh, Moria into the risk of having a civil war and then managed to solve it. <laughs> no! <laughs> six <laughs> hours at that point. No! <laughs> oh. yeah. Yeah, I, I was saying earlier, like, this game has been all about economic warfare and proper warfare event against nations. Except for Bactria, it's just, like, intrigue. 100% intrigue. <laughs> yeah. I think I ended up probably killing about 12 Morian rulers. Holy and baths shit. are completely illegal throughout that region. <laughs> Can I also point out that we haven't even gone 100 years of game time? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hours. Speed, speed How many rehosts was it? Quite a few. Yeah, especially early on. Uh, it was fairly slow going early on, but for the last, I would say, oh, yeah. half. So the last six hours been pretty good. Yeah, we hosted it's definitely twice. got more stable. The two uh, we lost a couple people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, think it's the, very much was, connection and performance dependent. I think the real stability came when we stopped trying to hot join. Like as soon as we realized mm -hmm. hot join, yeah. not yeah, for sure. working. Work. That's yeah. that's when yeah. things really I mean, stabilized. What, what we've is what this big stream has ended up doing is. Uh, making sure that basically we know how to go about it if we ever did another, another one because we've learned all the kinks and the <laughs> practice. Yeah. And That's also, it it's it's all still hot code, so like that yeah. might get sorted and probably will know in Paradox eventually. Yeah, definitely. This is pre-release. Yeah, we're still pre-release, and like, yeah, I can't say any more without reviewing it. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> All I can say, I had a lot of fun, even though I wasn't here for half the stream, but. Um, England's looking a bit nice. I was going to say, like, Dabuni has exceeded all possible expectations in that they're still alive. It's <laughs> nice and clean up now. I, I have two, like, highlight nations for this stream, though. And that and is... your queen looks like a very angry, angry old woman. She, <laughs> she is well. a very angry old woman. <laughs> she, is, she is miserly. She is lunatic. She is deceitful. She's also oh, content wow. in life. But, oh, yeah. I <laughs> She's original thinker too. Oh yeah, she's very original. <laughs> Just not very yeah. not nice. No. Uh, Urka. Her name is Urka. Yeah, Urka Aka. <laughs> That's not actually her name. That's just the sound she makes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Urk Urka. There you go. But yeah, my, my two highlight nations for this entire stream are Suebia and Sicily. The two yellow nations that are two just like nations. Sicily for its techni technological prowess, and then Suebia for being Germany. You know. Uh, yeah, and also in. jumping nations. I mean, Jesus, you got another one, even more to the east. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. There I mean, we go. Oh, little little yeah. horses here and there. As your neighbor, I'm curious. How did you skip over like that? Because I, I I would have loved to have done that if I. So I'm a migrating a tribe. tribe. You have a settled tribe. Yeah. So. Uh, it's a it's a different okay. government type. But you can yeah, centralize more. You can devolve less, as a settled into migrating, so you could do that. Yep. It would just cost you more. There's events, right. and then you can also change a lot to lower your centralization over time. <laughs> I like that even in the 12 hours, I didn't integrate all the central places. It is point four like things away from it as well. So I've really no. tempted just to unpause and let it become full Rome. Um, it, it That's why you wanted because... to lay the end. <laughs> yeah, there, no, there, there's I'm like. To get my font right. So there's three little nations uh, in the center, and well, one in the center and two to the north, and then you have like two to the south as well. I don't think yeah. you're gonna get there. Yeah. That fast. But, but getting that rid of that middle one at least might line me up so my name's not hanging <laughs> off the bottom of the shoe. Like maybe gum. not with with the <laughs> two in the top. Like with the two taking those two, like would make it look really nice, I guess. So, Mitch, we have people in the chat here asking when the next stream will be. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> so, again, tomorrow? What do you mean, next stream? It's, the stream doesn't end. <laughs> it's okay. <still> going. <laughs> hey, I mean, I've got a free day tomorrow if anyone wants to jump back into the save. Uh, We're going to stream forever and God ever damn. and ever. I mean, I'll, I'm going to be starting tomorrow early morning European time, so uh, I would love to play more since I basically got in on the tail end. Yeah, I mean, I'll keep the save for sure. 
yeah, I'll, definitely I'll, do. I'll, 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 men I'll mention it. Here. I'll, we'll, we'll talk. We've got a secret little Discord where there's about 30 of us now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's grown a little bit since not, it was the secret so, little Discord. Yeah, if, <laughs> Arish, yeah th this, uh, and I, 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 can I just say thank you to everyone who's kind of joined for today. Those who have been Man, here for the those who have been here for the full 12 hours, massive big up for you to joining me with this. <laughs> Thank you for everyone that's... Uh, it was a pleasure. Way, everyone Same that went way. out their way to sort of get uh, people to share it on Twitter, get all the word out, and join us and have fun with it, because I, I think it's been a pretty pretty darn good game after all of this. Um, after and all I, the stress that I went through. Uh, and I think that all of us, and also everyone watching, show your appreciation to Mitch for organizing all of this. Like, he yeah, did a yeah, ridiculous yeah. amount of work. Oh, yeah. So thank yeah, you thanks, ever man. so much for that. Indeed. You did amazing. Oh, you it's did. impressive, actually. Truly. Good job. Thank you. Big ups there, mate. Yeah, how did thanks you get a bunch of Mitch. nerds to all hang out with you for 12 hours? It's really impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I've got to, I've got to thank the armor. I think, I think yes. the, the yeah. shiny metal uh, plate body. It's that clank, crack. clank. Oh. <laughs> it, I, I wouldn't have been here if it weren't for the clanking. That's true. It, it, it just uh, attracts uh, content creators like magpies. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, armor, oh, go on then. Alrighty then. Yeah. Well, I'm well, gonna, for example, I'm gonna end my end of the stream here. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do an outro here. So thanks everyone for watching. I do very much hope um, you've enjoyed this. I have a link to I'm... everyone who was involved uh, below my stream here. Um, I'm sure if you ask in your own chats, you will get links to everyone else as well. Highly recommend checking everyone out. These are an amazing group of people, and I very much look forward to working with them again in the future. Um, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm actually continuing right. for about another hour and a half before I'm I read a charity stream. Same, I'm going to continue for about three hours. I'm going to play some Rome. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Well, I'm going to go because <laughs> I want a pizza. I'm hungry. Uh, yeah, I'm you know, I'm just I haven't tired. played for 12 hours. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go take this metal plate body off, everybody. <laughs> 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 Goodbye, everyone. Good day. Yeah. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. Bye-bye. This was nice.